so guys what is the most probable jet we can actually see at it in the end of each tech tree in each line of each tech tree right today with the german tech tree for air battles let's take a look on five jets or five options here maybe that we can have after the vehicles of the five lines that we have in the german tech tree right so we're going to talk about a vehicle that can come very soon after the f4 fice after the mig 29g after the tornado asta after the su-22 m4 and after the mig 23 bn so let's start with the f4 fice guys after the f4 i think there are two options but one of them is the most likely one of course one of them is the eurofighter but the most likely one is obviously the f-18c apparently the swiss are going to be added everything of, about the swiss is going to be added to the german tech tree um as a kind of a sub tree spread around here and there so most of these vehicles are going to be swiss vehicles because for the germans there aren't that many and since i think the auto fighter is going to be pushed to 2025 indeed because of the leaks i think the f-18c due to the leaks as well uh, is the most likely option to come after the F4F. Remember, this is the version that carries the APG 63, uh, 73, sorry. Uh, so we can carry AMO 20s. It would be amazing. It would really would be one of the best aircraft in the game. Um, and yeah, it's the single placed version. Uh, very good at everything. Very good at air to ground. Just an overall very cool aircraft to have after, after the F4F and before the Auto Fighter. For the MiG 29G, Honestly, guys, I tried to find something that can be added there. Maybe the F-18C could actually come here instead of below the F-4F. But I just think that it's the most probable option to be below the F-4, right? But honestly, after the MiG-29G, there's really nothing that can be added here. Uh, unless they add another subtree of some sort, um, there's nothing that really can be added. Um, the MiG-29G was the most advanced version of the MiG-29 that the Germans used, the most upgraded one, and it's honestly a great aircraft, but uh, honestly, if you would grind it out, maybe leave the MiG-29 afterwards, just because it's probably going to be the last aircraft in that tech tree, at least for a very long time. So I don't expect anything to come after the MiG-29, okay? For the Tornado line, I think the last Tornado Asta 1 can actually have a Tornado Asta 2 or 3, especially the 3 variant, to come after that. What would the Asta 3 bring? Well, for the real-life counterpart, it has many EC, uh, ECM upgrades and, you know, software upgrades and little things here and there. For the game... The main thing would be two things. It would be a Tornado IDS for the German Air Force that can carry AIM-9 allies, so the AIM-9 L with the IRCCM, and of course the Laser JDAM. So it would be similar to what the JDAMs are, but with a laser guidance as well, right? So it's a very precise and very good bomb to actually have in the Tornado IDS there. Of course, it could actually be added that bomb for many aircraft in the game, but uh, the Tornado Asta with its asta 3 variant could actually carry that thing so it would be kind of a 12 point something br tornado ids right a tornado that can carry better aim nines and a better jdam bomb that it's laser guided as well so being a little bit more advanced overall than the original asta one after that I mean, or besides that, I don't see anything else being added. After the SU-22M4, there is one aircraft that would actually be very, very cool to see it there. It would be the F-18D. Yes, the B-placed version of the F-18C that we talked about it before. The Swiss also used that aircraft more for training and stuff. But remember, the F-18D is as comp combat capable as the F-18C. So it would just be the same aircraft with a two-seat uh why would we add that well it could be kind of a ground attack version out of it i mean it would be basically the same but uh, you can say that it's kind of a ground version just to have more stuff in that tech tree because there's nothing else that can be added uh besides that aircraft in my opinion it's it's really really kind of sad that the german tech tree in top tier doesn't have a lot of things besides the auto fighter to be added and the tornado as a german vehicle so the swiss would um you know put out these all of these vehicles for us to have fun in the german tech tree so behind the f4f the f18c and behind or after right the su-22 m4 the f18d bringing two f18s for that tech tree though
could be actually pretty cool. And after the MiG-23 began, maybe not for a rank 8, but maybe for a rank 7, I think the most likely thing that could happen there is the addition of something like the Swiss Hawk, the Mark 66 version. It's a trainer aircraft, of course, but it is combat capable. And why after the MiG-23BN? Isn't this aircraft worse in terms of performance than the MiG-23? Yeah, maybe. But the thing is, this thing can actually carry. I don't know if it did in the Swiss Air Force, um, but, you know, if you could bring it, they will bring it. It's how Gaijin kind of adds these things. The German tech tree is the, like, the one that is the example for that with the F4s, um, you know, the F4F late for example having missiles that they didn't use but were tested with it so they added to the game right to bring a little bit of balance for their that aircraft right so it's the same for this the hawk could carry a9s and other missiles i don't know if it did in the swiss um service but it did it, it was able to carry these missiles so it would be a perfect rank 7 aircraft to come after the mig 23 at a 10 point something br very good like really really good dog fighting capability but not very fast that's the only thing and carrying some aim nines here and there to actually be able to defend itself of course some air to ground as well and of course these aircraft can come to many tech trees the swedish air tech tree as a finnish vehicle uh the british one of course and some others so uh it would be one of the tech trees to receive this and yeah guys basically this is it uh behind the f4f after the f4f the f18c after the mig-29g probably nothing after the tornado asta 1 the asta 3 after the su-22 m4 the f18d and after the mig-23b and maybe the swiss hawk mark 66 this would be it in my opinion i don't think there is anything else to be added apart from the auto fighter and honestly um, the germans the only hope for the germans to receive stuff along the time besides the auto fighter is sub trees you know because after the swiss are added there's really nothing else to be added as well and the swiss didn't have too many options as well they have like three or four aircraft that can be added and that's it so in the future if you want the german tech tree to have more stuff it will need to be more and more sub trees that's the only thing that can actually be happening rare right there of course after the auto fighter they're planning to buy the f-35 if i'm not mistaken so maybe that they were planning to buy the super hornet but i don't think there is anything like concluded there in the negotiations so maybe in the future we can have a super hornet we can have an f-35 but that's like way in the future so for now these are the aircraft that I think are the most likely ones and the ones that you should expect. Okay, guys? So let me know in the comments what do you think about these aircraft. And I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe. Um, click the like button. Let me know in the comments. And see you guys. Bye.